Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Monday the 28th of October 2024. I hope you are keeping well and enjoying life as best you possibly can. Uh, I'm back home after working outside and I don't have any scheduled online work this evening so I can play this game and maybe even get the third game in later before I go to bed. Um, <clears throat> History uh, sometimes seems to repeat itself. Uh, Trump has been at Madison Square Gardens because he's always wanted to play Madison Square Gardens like the failed uh, star that he, he, you know, he's really a failed actor. Like, like most politicians, I think they're just failed actors or people who want to be famous in the limelight for whatever reason. And uh, in Trump's case, it certainly has nothing to do with wanting to improve the country. It's all about himself and uh, making himself more famous etc so anyway the, he has been uh, in Madison Square Garden and guess what the echoes of the past are very clear because in 1939 the year in which World War II started of course uh, American Nazis rallied in Madison Square Garden to uh, praise Hitler etc etc and now they're there to praise Trump in exactly the same way and no doubt by proxy Putin, who is really Trump's master in this kind of stuff. Uh, the axis of evil back in the World War II days was, of course, um, Mussolini and Hitler and Franco and later Hirohito as well. Um, but this right now, we still have an axis of evil now. The, the names, the countries are different, um, but they are there, right? We've got Putin, of course, as the worst. Uh, we've got Trump as the potential president of the USA. We've got various places like Orban in uh, Hungary and Netanyahu in Israel. Uh, the right are pushing forwards. Uh, it's very unfortunate. Um, there are other places too where they are where they have a stronghold. Um, so, uh, but anyway, just to uh, as a slight bit of encouragement. Um, back in 1939, uh, the Madison Square Garden was filled with around somewhere between 18 and 20,000 people. But newspaper reports of the time say that there were 100,000 anti-fascists outside just baying for blood, <laughs> praying for blood um, uh, of the fascists inside. But the police managed to keep them out. So uh, I think that's what it's going to take again. It's going to take massive numbers of anti-fascists to demonstrate, um, not not violently, but to but to corru uh, to um, what's the word to keep uh, the fascists in order. Let's put it like that and make sure they understand that their hatred is not wanted uh, wherever it is. All right, enough. Let's get on with the game of Sudoku. I can see a couple of things. I can see the nines, but I haven't told you what it is. And I'm playing a game, and we haven't stuck. We haven't mentioned the name of it yet. This, of course, is the New York Times hard level Sudoku puzzle. But you're ahead of me. You knew that already because that's why you clicked. You clicked on the uh, on the thumbnail and found the title before I'd even said what it is. Uh, the other thing I noticed was the one and three blocking up here, which puts one and three into those squares. So we've got ones blocking up here, or one blocking up here, and one across there. So we will get one in that square there. And we will be left here with uh, 247. Any help on that? Not much. Sevens there and there. Uh, two, four. Mm. Yeah, so four is in one of those squares. So four blocking up and four blocking across there. That will give me a four in this square. should look at these just in case so I know this is one and three 
so we are still looking for two five six nine I think okay let's go around five across here and there and a five up there Okay, I've seen something, but I don't know if it will lead to anything. I've got four and seven blocking here. I've got four and seven blocking here. So I know, in fact, that that is a pair of four and seven in this row. Uh, okay, so these are not four or seven. They have to be one, six, eight in those squares there. Uh, one and eight block this square, so that's going to be a six. And we'll be left with one and eight in those squares. That's right, isn't it? I've forgotten what I said now. Force. I've forgotten what I said. <laughs> What on earth did I say? I said something about four seven, didn't I? Four seven. Four seven. I said four. Did I not say four and seven in those squares? I, I think I did. Oh, oh, four and yes, four and seven. Okay, that's how I worked it. I was wondering what was going on there. Okay, we've got one and eight in these squares here, so these can't be one or eight. They have to be three, six, nine. Uh, no help on that yet.
Oh, so I said this is four seven. joy from that I think I'm going to move on to pencil marks why not uh, let's put the let's do this put the 4 and the 7 in those squares put the oh god I made a mistake sorry let's put the yeah it is 4 and 7 isn't it yeah 4 7 in those squares I didn't make a mistake this is going to be 1 8 uh, one and three there we got ones over there Not very much. Uh, I'm missing some here, aren't I? What, um, two. Ah, that's probably important. So twos are in those squares there. Yes, it was important. That's what I missed. Two across here, two up there. That gives me a two in that square. Two down here, two up there. Yeah. And I worked out this one and three. I just didn't see what was going on with the twos there. Oh well, such is life. That's going to be a four then. Let's get rid of those fours. So the one blocking down here puts one into one of those squares there, meaning this is our one and this is our eight. And the eight blocking up and across there gives us eights in those squares, which gives us a pair of eights up there.
Okay, uh, so bef because my memory is so bad, I've got to put the sevens into this block here because I've marked this as a buy value sell over here and here, but I'm going to forget that I've got sevens to put in other places as well, for example, in those squares there. Okay, that's it. Right, uh, so where should we begin to tell the story of Sudoku? Uh, this is going to be three, six, nine. Uh, ah, there's only one missing number up here. That looks like it's a six, is it? I think it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're just looking for nine. Do we know anything about nine? Oh, so we've got ourselves a seven here then because nine is going to block this square here. So that means that is a seven, which means that this is a seven down here. That's not a seven. And our, uh, this can't be a seven. Seven will be down here and in one of those two squares there. Uh, so we're looking for 6, 8 in this top row. Can't say which is which yet. Oops, excuse me. Uh, now, I'm just going to, I didn't put in the, I didn't finish doing the candidates here, did I? Uh, the candidate 9 still had to be done, so 9 blocking like that. So we will put 9 in those squares there. Which which should we go for next? Let's try this one over here. One, two, three, four. Uh, what do we know about five blocks like this? So eight blocks up there. And nine blocks like this. And over here, one, two. Ah, oh, we've got a single three over here now. Oops. Excuse me. Six. Six in there and eight in there as well. Okay. So we've got one six eight here and six eight here, so three numbers in three squares. So this six and eight cannot be true. Let's remove it. And we get five nine there. Should we look again? Okay, we've got seven here, so none of these, neither of these sevens can be true. Seven has to be here. That puts seven into that square. Four here, and we will move that excess candidate. Four can't be here now. Four must be in that square. F four up, four down. So we'll get fours in those squares there.
Okay, let's do this block down here. Uh, one, two, do we know anything about twos? Two blocks down here, so twos are in those squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, done. Okay, that all checks out in that column. Let's see what we're doing over here then. So two blocks down there. Three blocks down here. Where's a six? I don't believe I know anything about sixes. And then eight. Likewise. Okay, so there are two blocks to be completed. There's this one and this one. Let's try this one first. One, two, three, four blocking across there. Six like this. And that's done. Let's finish off with this block here. One blocking up here like this before I start looking seriously. Two, uh, like so. Three. Eight blocking across here. Ah, so we found ourselves a single three. There it is, that's a three. So we'll get rid of the threes over there. We'll end up with four in that square and four here. Four in that square, nine up there. No nine possible there now. It's got to be a five. Four and five are now completed digits. There's bound to be some stuff I've got to remove and haven't yet looked at. Yep, there's t pointing twos here, so that can't be a two. Threes here have got to be removed. That puts a three into that square. No threes there. Three there. Six. Nine. No sixes, thank you. Now we've got threes in here, so the threes can go from there. Pair of six and eight along the bottom, so that can't be an, uh, an eight. That's got to be a two. Our nine goes there. Eight is in that square. Get rid of these eights up there. And put an eight here. So once again, a few pencil marks make the game nice and easy for me. That's the way I can play the game and finish for sure. You can play the game in different ways and finish how you can finish. Uh, this one here means that can't be a one. That one can be removed. The one must go in this square. Get rid of the one there as well. Oh, it's all. Is it all six eights? <laughs> Almost. So somewhere or another, unless we've got a unique rectangle, one of these uh, 
numbers is solvable. One of them must be intersecting with something. Let's see, we've got ones, threes. Are the threes going to do it? No, not the threes. The sixes. Not the sixes. Got to be the eights then. Huh? Something is. Oh, there it is. So that's the six there. There's the eight there. Six, eight, six, eight, six, eight, eight, three, six, one, one, and th three. Excuse me. Okay, that's our uh, New York Times game for a Monday. Over and out. I'll see you another time. Take care. Bye bye.